pull the 10x now and we'll go ahead and see what he got nashgar first boom right off the top obacon five star this is working you can see that this method definitely does work Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to spend less money on empires and puzzles. This will probably be a really helpful video for a lot of you because you might have been pulling up your bank account statements and crying or potentially hiding them from your spouse or girlfriend. But I'm going to go ahead, wipe your tears and give you a solution that will actually be practical and help you out. Stop spending your money. I know that that is a very simple concept. I know it sounds too good to be true or it's too silly to even be making this video, but it is actually the most important reason why I made this video. This is a video game. It is something you are meant to enjoy. This is not something that you hide your billing statements from. This is not something that causes divorces. This is not something that takes away food from your kids. You have to be responsible with what is going on with your bank account and this game. And I see a lot of people that come through and they had tens of thousands of dollars. Just kidding! This video is sponsored by my good friends at Raid Shadow Legends, the dark fantasy world of Raid Shadow Legends. Yo, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Yo, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. None other than Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> you guys know that Raid has been throwing it down with Anchor for a long time. I have much love for them. Because of Raid, they have allowed me to make a ton of content for Empires and Puzzles. Now is your chance to give back and be part of the Raid community. It would mean a lot to me if you checked out Raid. It is free to play and available for your PC and your mobile device. As you can see, I'm enjoying the game too. I just pulled my first legendary hero, Prince Kaimar. Maybe Kaimar, Kermar? I don't know. I haven't even put any equipment on them yet, so no big deal. Right now, they have these awesome tournaments going on, and your boy is chilling in first place in two of them, grabbing up all the loot from all the other players. If you download this game, I will also add you to the exclusive Raid Line group where our friends are giving away a ton of tips and tricks to get you started. Just leave a comment below on the video and I'll send you a link. To download this game, all you gotta do is go to the video description, click on the special links. If you're a new player, you will get 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Executioner. All this treasure will be waiting for you up here and only available for new players for the next 30 days which this loot and champion is more than enough to get you started. Thanks again for your support, Raid Shadow Legends. Let me get back into the video for you guys. Dollars invested in the game. They, I hired somebody to spend $150,000 in six months. This is just crazy what you could be doing with the money. So I'm really saying this as tip number one because you shouldn't be investing tens of thousands of dollars in this game. You shouldn't be doing it. The return just isn't there. And for example, I ran Seven Days Departed for quite some time. I was the leader, and I never had the hero Guinevere as a tank. I just never had her. I couldn't spend thousands of dollars to try and reach her. I did do pulls any time it came around, but I never achieved her. But I wasn't going to lose sleep. And that was the biggest reason why I created the hero grades, was so that people could get the grasp as far as what the hero did and not lose sleep over not obtaining a hero. No hero is worth it to be spending tens of thousands of dollars. So I mean this in all sincerity. You need to take a step back. We're rolling right along into tip number two. We have what to actually spend your money on. So when we look at things, obviously the in-game currency is going to be gems. When you look at it, it's 400 gems for $5, which essentially is $1.25 per 100 gems. Obviously not the greatest exchange to a hero summon, which breaks out to about $3.75 per hero summon at, it, at its most basic level. You're seeing they have the best value gems. It's you know 10,000 gems for $100, which equals out to about a dollar per 100 gems. So these offers, these are not good. Do not buy these offers. These offers do not give you a good return on your money. 
I would only purchase them mostly in a real extreme cramp that you need to. Otherwise, I'm a huge advocate of saving your gems and plotting out when to actually spend your gems. Now, in terms of the offers, we have this is the most important offer to get. I don't care if you're a beginner, if you're an expert, if you've been playing forever. If you don't spend any money on anything else besides the 30 day pass, do this, okay? Because it's gonna give you 30, 30 daily gems, so it's 900 gems for $5, plus you're also getting 30 emblems, and you're also getting the daily loot tickets, the second builder base, and the bonus daily summon. So this is by far the best return of on your investment that you should be doing. The, the second base builder is massively important. The daily bonus summon is actually way more important than people think, and I'm going to show you that towards the end of the video on why that is so important. And they went ahead, they released this Dragon Magic, which this just came out. This was absolutely amazing. You're getting 350 gems plus a VIP for 30 days for only $4. So again, another one of those offers that you want to go ahead and buy. What I'm looking at is the lowest amount of money for the highest amount of gems because the gems are what is going are the most important thing here. The Valor Pass is super important because essentially you're getting two summons, which equates out to, you know, like I said, it's 375. We'll round this down to about 300, 300 gems. You're getting two summons out of this. So it's about $6 that you're getting for the two summons. So the rest of the Valor Pass is only $4. Again, this is a no brainer to spend $4 to be able to have access to the Valor Pass, get all these extra bonuses, everything that comes along with the Valor Pass. This one, I really, really love this Atlantis offer. You get five in stock, it gives you 400 gems, which equates out to 2,000 gems, plus you're also getting an additional 25 uh, summon tokens there too. So you're getting at least a hero there for $10, it's 2,000 gems. This equates out to close to, close to 10, 10 rolls for $10. Really, really, really great offer. I love this offer. And this offer I've also used for a lot of different things. This is also really good for if you're trying to push in the event, if you don't really need the summons, I will always buy this one. It's only 10 bucks. It's not, it's not crazy expensive. These are also really important to use your gems on. If you see this, the Mystic Emblem Pack, make sure you check the shop frequently because emblems are the second most sought after resource currently in this game right now above here you know below heroes uh you really 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 need emblems so these are like a cheap way to go ahead and get it that you're spending 350 gems to get uh to get 20 emblems is a really really good offer so always make sure you go ahead and grab this offer there uh another one this was a pretty new offer these were both really great uh, to go ahead and spend just it's a little bit of money that you throw into it that you're going to get a lot of value out of it Now this one I think that this was a was a really surprising offer that they came out with Because I don't think that their legend summons were doing that great. I don't know if they'll do this again uh, If you're gonna go ahead and pull on legends, I wouldn't recommend doing anything else besides getting this uh, to spend $30 to get uh, 30 spins in the legends is is actually a really insane value. So uh, you're not really caring. You're not really worried about anything to the right. You're only mostly focused on how many hero spins that you're getting. So this was an amazing offer that they had. This one wasn't too too great. It was okay. I didn't buy it. It was five. You're getting two. You're getting two spins. You're getting two summons uh, for three dollars. It's an okay offer, but not that great or that super important. So these ones can kind of get confusing. Don't worry about anything to the right of the gems minus any hero tokens. So I completely disregard what it is that I'm getting. If you're in a huge bind, you're in a huge crunch and you need to get, you know, a scope or a Damascus blade, I can see that appeal. But honestly, the compass, the, the, the hidden blade, the shield, all that kind of stuff, you're going to recuperate that. It's just not mega important. It's not worth spending a whole bunch of money off of. This $100 offer, it is a pretty okay offer. I do see a lot of people will go ahead and buy this. Me personally, I don't think I've ever bought it. Um, just because 
I'm not getting enough value out of the amount of gems that I'm getting and the hero tokens that I'm getting. It's still a good offer, don't get me wrong. It's better than the one that they always normally get, but I'd much rather pick and choose and pick off little offers and have it add up and stack up. So the first offer though, it's 600 gems for 500, you know, for $5. And you're also getting a hero token. Obviously, you're not really caring about the oil. So you're essentially getting three three summons for $5. When we equate that times two, that's six. So that's almost $15 for, for 10 summons, in a sense. Nine summons, close there, which is, a, which is a decent value. It's pretty good. You're about half off because, again, we're at 3.75. So it's about, it's about $3 per summon that you're getting. You're cutting that almost in half. I'm not a big fan of the $20 offer here because again, we're looking at everything to the right. $20 for 2,300 gems and a hero summon, it's not that great. So I'm not too impressed with this offer because again, the gem input for the money is not that great. This is not that great of an offer. You're getting you're getting a summon for three dollars and half, half. Um, this wardrobe wonders not a good offer because again I'm looking. This is already pretty, pretty close to comparison of what you normally spend. Not really worth, not really worth it. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight of what offers you should be using and which offers you shouldn't be using. Figuring out ways to test RNG to see when you have potentially the highest return that you can get heroes that you're looking for. I'm not going to read through all this because I'm, I'm gonna post a link below if you wanna go ahead and read it, but uh, otherwise you can go ahead and screenshot pretty much the process and how this works. Pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna use those free silver tokens, which I told you about, they're super mega important with that, that, that little dragon. You use those to test your RNG to potentially give you the highest return to get a five-star hero. Now, again, this isn't just like, you know, putting on a tin foil conspiracy theory type deal. I have personally been using this probably for the last three months and I've hit every single time. I've gotten the hero of the months without spending enormous, uh, crazy amounts of money. And just about every single time I'm getting, I'm getting uh, uh, an event summon hero just by doing this method. So it does act actually work. I'll show you kind of a little bit of, of a video on how it works and show you some screenshots of other people that it has had great success. If it has worked for you, please do me a favor, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, if it's worked for you so other people know that this isn't just like conspiracy theory. Pretty much how the process works is you use a free daily summon. If that results in a one or two star troop or above, then proceed to step number two. If you receive a one or two star classic hero, then stop, stop immediately, don't summon, don't do anything else. This is to test your RNG, okay? Step two, you use another free daily token. If you receive a one or two star hero, you stop. You don't do anything else. You don't summon anymore. You don't do anything. If it results in a two star troop or above, two star troop, so above would be like a three star troop or a three star hero off the, the, the silver token, then proceed to the next step. If it's a second one star troop, repeat step two. So pretty much you're gonna repeat this step if it's another troop. Typically it doesn't uh, repeat the step uh, two more than twice. If, it, if you haven't received a two, par, two star troop by then, go ahead and stop. Step number three, use a free Atlantis summon. In this, he's using Atlantis summon, could be whatever, one of the freebies or a hero token, anything that is a little bit above the silver token. If you receive any Atlantis hero, in my opinion, um, yeah, any Atlantis hero, totally fine, you proceed to step number four. So any Atlantis hero, it's showing you that your RNG is on the rise. You've got a chance to go ahead and hit. If you receive any season one, any season one three-star hero, then stop. You don't continue, don't get greedy or anything like that. Receiving a four star or above season one hero is dicey. This is this is true because I've hit on 50%. I've gone for it on the season season one four star and I have I've hit it and I've gone for it and I've missed it. So that is that is true there. So 
Sometimes does a free, you know, a second free summon if it's close to the event. Experience has taught me that generally doesn't turn out well when you do this. Always only continue if you get Atlantis hero or some kind of five star classic hero. Anything other than that on a second go is a reason to stop. Super important step number four, proceed with a 10x summon. If you get your desired five star hero, then you stop. That's it. I also stop if I get a hero of the month, but that's just you. If you receive a five star or more Atlantis hero mixed with one or four star heroes, or above, then f feel free to repeat step four. Keep in mind, never exceed two 10x summons. So people released this, they talked about this, has a lot of skepticism. I was super skeptic when I first started, and you can actually see this is what I've got. So this is actually my account. You can see right here, unfortunately, I wish it would show it what I actually got, but the first summon, it was a two-star troop. The second summon was a two-star troop. I went ahead, I used my Atlantis coin, and I got Marjana, which obviously is a five-star. Definitely know my RNG is super high right now. I went ahead, I did the summon. You can see I got Raphael, I also got Desarnia, and I got the other dudes. So I literally only did one 10X, and I got three five-star heroes this is like i said this is my account this is not so you can see tokens two stroke this is anchor cove this is me immediately went for it and you can see same thing happened with relax he went ahead and tried it out did the same thing was able to go ahead and get Raphael. so let me show you actually some videos on this so you can get some insight so you can see i did the summon here i got a two star Rigor, stop, don't do anything. Next one here, I did a daily summon. One star, shouldn't really even, just stopped. I was testing it out, just stop. Did it here, two star, good. Up, oh, one star, stop, don't even try. This one here, you can see, Two star, stop, not worth it. Okay, so he went ahead and he used a one star silver coin, got a one star troop, did a second one, got a second troop. Right at this point now, we're past step one and step two. You need to go ahead and proceed to step three, which is to go ahead and do a test summon. That test summon can either be a four star hero or an event four star. At that point then, if you just go with a four star regular hero, you're running the risk. So let's go ahead and check out and see what happens. He uses first initial summon, got a little John. Awesome. Roll the 10X now, and we'll go ahead and see what he got. Nashgar first. Boom, right off the top, Obacon five star. This is working. You can see that this method definitely does work. I would recommend making sure you check the comments below because you'll see other people have tried this method. They'll leave their feedback as well. This is not just some tinfoil thing, actual real results there. So they summoned, probably got a two star troop, their second summon, they got Friar Tuck off a silver coin. So that's showing that it's up high. They did a single, um, they did a single pull got Jean-Francois and then did a 10x pull on top of that and uh, got Freya as well too. Here's another one, same person, K Burrow, which actually was the person that told me about this, did a silver token, got a probably a two star troop, did a silver token, got a three star troop, knew that he had to go ahead and run it, did a summon, a regular summon, and he got a, uh, he got, uh, a four star, regular which is dicey it could go either way did the 10x and got delilah as well as tarlac in that same same conjunction so hopefully you guys go ahead you take this bit of advice you save yourself a ton of money and then that way you can keep playing this game enjoy it hang out with your friends and also not worry about wasting all of your time wasting all your resources and you continue to play. So if you could do me a favor, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really, really, really do appreciate that. 
It means a lot to me, and I hope I see you on the next video.